Hello and welcome to Crystal Hall number three here in Baku, Azerbaijan. This is day. So Tatar exits the scene. And we now have the second quarter final in the men's minus 80 kilogram gram category. And this is going to be fascinating. It's the local Aziri fighter, seeded number four. Milad Beghi Harchigani, as you hear our MC saying, is actually world ranked number 60, but he just is an athlete who does not travel a lot. He won a gold at the Military World Championships 2014, a silver in Ukraine. But the favorite for this bout is this man walking on right now, the bronze medalist from the London 2012 Games at the minus, six, uh, the minus 87 kilogram category. It's Latelo Mohammed of Great Britain, world rank number 10. He's actually world rank number 12 at the 87 kilogram category. And interestingly, John, he's the only fighter who's dropped down a weight because, of course, we, we've talked about this before. Normally, there are eight weight categories. Here, there are only four. And so you get a lot of minus 80s and minus 74s. The Taylor is usually a minus 87. So he's had to lose some weight to get to this category. Yep, and that hopefully for him will pay dividends because he'll have a size advantage. But you look at Beggy Hajidani, obviously previously used to fight for Iran, very experienced fighter, and he's going to come up against Latila Mohammed. But the most important thing is that if Mohammed has time to recover, to replenish his reserves and get his energy back on, on force, yeah. because losing 10 kilos is, is not easy. It's but so if he's done it the right way, then he should be in condition. However, once you get into the latter reaches of the competition, it can have a little impact, but he's only thinking about impact to the face here, and he's dropped a couple of good front legs to the face. Beggy Hajidani obviously has studied him, keeping that front leg up to block. Mohammed won his first round by 16 points to four over Georgiev of Belarus, and um, Beji beat Fajcik of Serbia by 12 points to nil. So there's no doubt that Beji has uh, got his defence in order. Yep, Beji Hajidani, and he's got his defence in order here as well because he knows that the front leg of Latelo Mohammed is one of the best in the game. He's very good at not even the first or second phase. There's a third phase to Mohammed as well, but it is the first point on the board for Beji Hajidani, and he's tried again with the headshot. Oh, a big ooh in the crowd there. That was very close. Latelo Mohammed really burst onto the scene in 2011. A very unorthodox fighter. He's got legs that go all over the place here, and some more. And certainly, there was a lot of athletes who were really struggling with Latelo's style when he came in. Sure. But they have adapted a little bit. They've yeah. learned how he fights, and you know he's he certainly has he's having a much harder time here now. Yep, and I add into that a couple of injuries and a little bit lack of momentum on the way through. But there's a good push kick from him, gets him back into this one. But he's a very good athlete, a very good competitor. But he walks into that front leg there. Just trying to find himself into this match, just needs to get the cover going. Yeah. But when you're an aggressive fighter, so, sometimes you're thinking about, I need to score, I'm going to do this kick. Can't neglect the defence as he has just momentarily here. Both coaches are imploring their athletes as uh, you're allowed to coach during the bout, of course, and there's a lot of it going on. Taylor was very confident when I spoke to him a few days ago. He, uh, he was really confident. But he's uh, going another forward kick from the Azerbaijani fighter. And, well, those bread and butter kicks we called them earlier are yep. paying off for the Aziri. Yeah, we're sticking to basics. Beggy Hajidani using the front leg. Let's have a try and have a listen. We didn't look ready to go. We don't look ready to go. Yeah? Right. We need to step up. Okay, so... Steve Jennings there just asking, saying, talk to me, tell me what's going on. He's saying, you've got to be ready, you've got to be sharp. And he said, no, I am, I am. But obviously, a little bit of tiredness, perhaps, yeah. just creeping in there. But also, let's talk about tactics here from Beggy Hajidani. He's used that front leg really well. You mentioned before about Latela Mohammed being a new dynamic fighter. He's no longer that. He's an Olympic bronze medalist. He's the established player now in this group, and people have a chance to study him. And yeah. It's very hard to adapt, and when you've got a coach like Mohamed Reza in your corner, 
and the Aziri team is flying. Yeah. Obegi Hajidani is surfing on the wave of that. Absolutely. Well, interestingly, the tailor is not actually the British number one at the moment. Damon Sampson is world number three. He reached the final of the World Championships. And he's the man who's likely to be going to Rio at the moment. And there's certainly pressure here on the Taylor Mohammed. Another point scored against him. There's a lot of pressure here on the Taylor to do well in this event. Because if he doesn't, there's every chance that this is going to open the door for Damon Sampson to go to Rio. And there's the head kick from Beji Hajidani. He almost scores it there with Hard. the head shot. But I think we're going to see, as you say, Adrian, the, the card was straight there. What it was was a, a counter front leg chop to the face. And it's, of course, a three-point shot. And this could be massive in terms of the balance of play here. This is an enormous call, just as we saw in the previous There's the front leg, right in the face. As he spins... Oh, that is three points all over. And that's what happens is when you, a person gets a chance to study an opponent. And the crowd have just seen the replay, and there is no doubt that they're letting the judges know. The coaches don't have to fake an applause on this one to put pressure on. Exactly. This is going to be given every day of the week, and Latelo is in big trouble now because the local man, Archigani, the card will be returned. And Azerbaijan are really in the driving seat here now. Well, it is a long and bumpy road to Rio, and this would be the key moment for Latelo to find his fighting spirit, and we know he has plenty of that. He digs in there, and the Kyungo against Haji Dadi. Of course, this all about Baku, the first ever European Games title. Who's going to get into the medal matches? There's a good shot from Latil Mohammed, gets caught up in the guard. Well, the one good thing about this, John, looking, if you're in Latilo's camp, the one good thing out of this, he's well behind, he's still got a plenty of time. For sure, and he's I think he's got a little bit of a conversation here. Well, looking for the three-point kick, I think. Got a card here. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see what this is for. He's looking for a face. We're going to see the replay here. Now, watch the front leg of Mohammed. Oh, my goodness, that's nowhere near. Now, well, that one straight to the body. No, and, you know, I, I, we have seen, I've got to, got to say, John, you know, my journalistic tendencies here, we have seen the British team throw cards away in some of the earlier rounds. and. That is a card that has been thrown away. It's if not if even that is the face. replay that they're looking at, then that was not the correct use of the card. No. Maybe the cameraman is, is shown as a different shot there. It's hard to know. No, they are looking at exactly that same, and it's nowhere near. It didn't even get up to the shoulder, and the card, well... And there's the oh. shot on the inside, and a face kick there from Haji Dani, that if you live to be 100, you'll never see again in your life. Picks it up over the shoulder. It's been taken off. Because of the holding on the inside, this is what I was trying to say, was that how do you get your leg that close to pick your leg up and do a front kick to the face? Yeah. Well, it, the Zeri fighter wants a card. He's going to get a Kyungo because Kalio was called. And, well, here's another wasted card because there is no way that this will ever Well, we accepted. could never speak too soon here because <laughs> you never know what the referees are looking at. Obviously, there was a kick to the face, yeah. but you cannot hold and hit. No. But, the, you know, the, the referee said that he, he called Calio here. Well, let's have a look. Is he holding? Watch the arms are up. The arms are clear. It's wonderful flexibility, but let's look yeah. at the two hands of the Aziri. Is he holding on either that's, side? That's holding there, isn't there? Well, actually, it's the tailor holding. Yep. It's, it's hard to see. Depends who would be a referee. So watch the two hands. Are they away? Flicks the head back. Yeah, I've I never seen a tech like, technique like that before, to be <laughs> fair. First time. That was that was incredible. But there was a bit of holding. Letelo was holding onto him, but he did have his hand holding onto Letelo's body. And I've got a feeling... Yeah, Mohamed Reza is saying what you said is that it's the British fighter, Letelo Mohamed, that's doing the holding. Yeah. Well, the momentum. It is a home crowd here in Azerbaijan, which possibly... They're all looking at the actual content, and the crowd are cheering even more. Because I believe that that may have been given. The card has gone back. Yep. Well, I will eat my hat. The, the one has been wiped off. Well, I'm not sure what... Let's just see what's going on yes. here. The Kyungo, the, tree. the Kyungo that was given yeah. for the holding has been taken away from Mohammed, but the three points have been restored because there was no holding. So that was pure flexibility. I've never seen a kick like that before. Over the shoulder with a crescent kick changed it to a front kick to the face, caught Mohammed unawares, but Mohammed now putting on the pressure. 
Well, I'm going to look forward to seeing that again on the replay. If you've never seen that kick before, I want to see that again. But the Taylor Mohammed, he scored, well, he scored a couple more points. He's hanging in there. And the, the Zeri fighter, he's, you know, we're looking at the 12-point difference potentially. Still a minute to go in the second. There's still plenty of time. And also a lot of Kyungos hanging against Tagi, yeah. uh, Baggy Hajidani. So there's the head kick from the Taylor Mohammed. But of course, oh, that that's... video replay card is gone. But will the corner judges save them? I think I think they I think the judges are going to get together. I think one of them's got his hands up. Now this is why the video replay card from a British team should not have been wasted like that because if the judges decide that that wasn't valid, there's no doubt that he absolutely wiped. Well, the let's helmet. have a look at it here. There is kick oh. to the head there to the head guard. It has to be to the face. Yeah. Now the, for me, there's contact to the face. For me, that's a legitimate three-point kick. Yeah. Oh, and that's on the face. Yeah. Perfect yeah. there. But of course, it has. Let's see what the referees have decided. They've not gone for it, and yep. that's why... That's very unfortunate. Yep. Very unfortunate for Latila Mohammed. But he's still got time. Tries to step in with the this front leg shot there, and he's been rough and tumble here, and it's another Kyungo. Yep. Well, we're getting to the zone, well, aren't we, John? That's why Steve Jennings is shouting six Kyungos. That's what I was intimating before. A lot of Kyungos hanging over. I thought it was, uh, I thought it was five that uh, actually was the mental disqualification. Another Kyungo. Yep. We're this moving is, into a dangerous... This is the tactics here from Mohammed. If he can't beat him with technique and skill, he's going to have to work him for deductions. Well, there's a good shot from Beji Hajidani, and he's got to stay active. Yeah, and, and the thing is, Hajidani could well could well go for the 12-point difference here because he is in Kungo trouble. There's no doubt he keeps going out of court. And this is a tactic now from Latela Mohammed. He's been beaten on Taekwondo. But he's actually pushing his opponent out four red cards. Does he have the physical strength down the stretch? He's just looking a little bit leg weary here. Trying to push. There's another one. He's out again. And we're trying not. to show that one, both of his feet were not out. Uh, yeah. They were not on that occasion. And the referees conceded that one as well. Latelio's breathing heavily here. This has been a really tough round. There's a head flicking shot there from Latelio Mohammed. Good back kick. Wow. This We're hanging is on for dear life here from Beji Hajidani. Latelo Mohammed. Let's have a listen. He's exhausted, doesn't even take the steps. No coaching advice other than breathe. He knows that his brain is full. He has to take time to recover here. But Beji Hajidani taking control of this match with the front leg to the face a wonderful head kick attempt from well, the Iranian who's now fighting for Azerbaijan let's look at this one one two perfect oh, shot there that's incredible isn't it what flexibility misses first time out just a slide touch and then on the face well this one here we go for Same. the coaching manual at home flick it over lift it back get your three points well, this is fascinating because Latela Mohammed is well, well down here. He'll be really disappointed. You know, that video replay card, I'm not going to harp on about it, but it was wasted early on. He would have used it there. He would have had three more points. But I've got to say that his only manner, the only way he can win this bout now is by five Kim goes. Now, I did hear six being called, and I don't know if there's been a, a very recent rule change. As far as I know, it's five red cards means that you are disqualified from the contest and Nitella Mohammed well, has got to try and push his opponent out a few more times here. It's a good shot from Beji Hajidani. They've got to stay in the moment here and focus on what they're doing because the Aziri has lost a little bit of momentum here. And Nitella Mohammed obviously landed awkwardly yeah. there, trying to catch his breath. Took that kick in quite a tender place, I think. That won't almost matter to Latelo. As long as he doesn't go 12 points behind, he's Hajidani still got a again. chance. Hajidani again with the front leg, just trying to keep him at bay. Good back kick attempt this time. Returns the favour. I couldn't watch that. Well, mercifully, it hits the top of the thigh. And Latelo. Now, importantly, Latelo gets a breather here. Look at him. Yeah, he he is it. tired. He needs it. Yep. He's a, he he's a heavyweight that's dropped down yep. a level. He's not going to be as strong as normal. He's had to lose a lot of weight, and yep. there's a minute and a half to go. 
And interestingly, Taylor does seem to be losing a bit of power here. He's not able to push his opponent around. He's still got the flurries, though. He's still got the big head kick competency. But Beggy Hajidani now taking the centre of the mat in much less danger of taking the Kyungos. Tries with it, but there's a flicking headshot, and that's going it's to be over. It's, it's over. It's over for the Aziri. Beggy Hajidani, he found a way. Well, the crowd here cannot believe what they've just seen. There's one of the powerhouse names of the sport, Mateo Mohammed from Great Britain. They share a few words. But Mateo Mohammed goes out, and it's Mirad Beji Hajigani of Azerbaijan who qualifies for the semi final. John, what about? And, and an absolute deserved winner there. He, he dominated Latelo from start to end. I'm so impressed with the Azeri team. Beggy Hajidani, just one of the many fighters that's produced so well because they've clearly prioritized this. As you see the result there, Beggy Hajidani, 17-5 victor over Latelo Mohammed. But Beggy Hajidani, he's been in control all the way through of this fight. And whenever he wanted to score, he could. And to be in that distance, he's done extremely well. And of course, he's one of many for Team Azerbaijan. Mohamed Reza, delighted with that one. And that's an excellent result there from the Aziri.